All right, guys. I'm going to do a little kind of up close and personal video about this little Bauer 25. <clears throat> this is actually a baby browning copy. You can see um, 25 automatic. These were made in uh, Fraser, Michigan. Uh, has a European um, has a European mag release right here. You have your very typical Browning magazine. And just for a little comparison on the size, this is the LCP behind it. You can see just how small this firearm is. It is T90. But a lot of people uh, don't know how to take these apart to clean them. And uh, we did do some shooting on this one. So I was going to show you. Alright, just to take this thing apart, you want to make sure the gun's empty, of course. And that you take the magazine out. First thing I would tell you first is make sure the gun's clear. Point in safe direction. Make sure the safety's off. Pull the trigger. Then take your magazine out. Take your safety and push it up almost so and you'll pull push back on the slide just until it catches in this little niche up in here after you have that you'll take your barrel rotate it out of the way you'll see the lugs that lock everything into place and then you'll be able to disengage the safety and you can take it out and in doing so you can take rotate your barrel back down where the lugs are at the bottom and it'll come straight out now you want to look over underneath here and see how this is orientated that's your firing pin right there you take your uh, spring and your little indicator and if you want to you can take your firing pin out give it a good cleaning and you have an underspring underneath here that's got this little small tip take it out you can clean all this sometimes a lot of people will put these back in backwards and wonder why their pistol won't go back together it doesn't go in like this you actually have a little hole in the front of the frame that that rests in but anyways we'll throw her back together right quick basically you got your firing pin with this little notch this is where uh, your trigger mechanism rides into it so basically you'll put that in you put your spring back in like so and then your little indicator you get the long pin in front and the short pin in the back you can sit that aside and then you take your frame and once you get everything cleaned, you'll put you'll just slide this one back into this little hole underneath the <clears throat> barrel lugs. And then once you have all that in place, you can take your barrel. It has to go in with lugs down first. It goes in like so. Rotate it 90 degrees. If I can hold all this together where you can see, the lugs will have to be lined up with the slide like so and then you can put your uh, frame back on your top uh, rail back on your bottom rail basically and once you get everything lined up just so You can pull it back until you get to the little safety niche where it holds everything in place and once you've got that it slipped on us the barrel has to be 90 degrees sometimes it can be a little pain if you get upset with it, just walk away, come back, push it back until it locks. 
now you see we have the lugs to the side you'll rotate them down so that your barrel will line up with your uh, extractor and you can remove your safety and the barrel lugs hold the uh, barrel and everything on the frame you can put your magazine back in do a little function check you can see how that little indicator goes back in very uh, significant kind of like the uh, XD model pistols but uh put the safety on and she won't do nothing pistol you really got to be careful on because if you uh, snug up on this one she's gonna bite you but she'll come right back across there and just rip the web of your hand open so whenever I'm shooting I always shooting it I always keep me good clearance Here's a little sight picture which is surprisingly it's a very little accurate pistol for what it is like I said there's a little comparison with the next to the Ruger LCP we know how small the LCP is it gives you just a little size you know frame to frame <clears throat> and we can stand them on top of each other side by side and you can see frame to frame yep. if you can see that or not zoom in ones the little bitty bower is it is tiny I don't know if it would be bigger or smaller than a little sea camp I'd like to see get a sea camp and look at it and see but like I said, it's just a basic baby browning clone. Yeah. I hope that helps somebody out. Um, really nice looking pistol for little vest gun. We're going to take her all apart and clean her up. I just wanted to make a little video on how to field strip this little jewel. Alright, I'm out of here.